They say cycling is the new golf, no longer just for kids on their first bike, but the growing pastime of choice for the more mature rider as well. And Exeter is one of six towns in England capitalising on and trying to encourage that. Here they've created new cycle lanes and offer cycle training. They've seen the number of journeys made by bike increase by more than a third in the past four years. There's been you know, decades of underinvestment in cycling in the UK and the trends were more and more to, uh, towards um, two-car families and it's, it's just a slow process of changing people's minds back. Things like uh, the Olympic success that we had last year and the you know, famous British cyclists we're getting like Bradley Wiggins and uh, Chris Hoy are really starting to change, change habits. But an online row between cyclists and the celebrity chef James Martin this week told another story. A claim that the chef had taken pleasure in running a group of riders off the road provoked a vitriolic response on sites such as Twitter and Facebook, with cyclists pointing out the dangers and prejudices they say they still face on the roads of Britain. It's all a far cry from the more relaxed attitudes seen in some other countries. Britain still has some way to catch up with continental Europe. Here in Tuscany, for example, it's not about the bike lanes and bylaws. It's more about a culture. Cycling here is a way of life. Here, cyclists of all ability and ages are on a level with drivers and pedestrians, which is partly why so many of Britain's top riders have chosen to base themselves here, where the lifestyle is conducive to cycling. You can get out on the bike every day and you can do three, four hours and you can just lose yourself and it's done. Uh, obviously the food's a lot better and just healthy and the lifestyle is really good for a bike rider. It would be nice if there was a setup at home with the climate change it might be possible but yeah at the moment I don't think so. But the excitement surrounding this year's Tour of Britain shows there is a growing support for cycling. The challenge is to give the sport equal place on our roads as our winners roster. Well, Sky News.